remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. We'll take a look at how the Opposition or Progressives Congress, APC, conducted its governorship primary elections in the region. A day after the People's Democratic Party, PDP, conducted its governorship primaries nationwide, Nigeria's ruling All Progressives Congress followed suit on Thursday, 26 May 2022. It was a defining moment for the APC to assert itself in the Niger Delta after several unsuccessful attempts to dislodge the PDP in the region since 2015. In Delta State, the sole aspirant of the APC Senator Ovie Omoagege secured 1,190 votes to clinch the party's governorship ticket. Shortly after he was declared winner, Senator Omar Agege, Nigeria's Deputy Senate President, said his party was all set to take over the reins of power and reinvent governance in Delta State. We are just in a hurry, you know, to get to work, win the elections, and then uh, liberate uh, our people. Unlike in Delta State, the conduct of the APC governorship primaries in Akwaibom and River States did not go unchallenged by aggrieved parties. In Akwaibom State, businessman and philanthropist Akanimo Udofia won the APC governorship primaries. Udofia, who recently defected from the PDP to the APC in pursuit of his governorship ambition, emerged victorious, having pulled a total of 1,227 votes to beat seven other aspirants, including former senior special assistant to the president on Niger Delta Affairs, Senator Ita Enang and Senator James Udoede, a former Minister of State for the Federal Capital Territory. The APC governorship primary election in Akwaibom State, which dragged on till the early hours of Friday the 27th of May 2022, was largely characterized by power play between opposing camps in the party. In the end, Akanimo Udofia emerged as the party's flag bearer in the 2023 Akwaibom State governorship election. We are going to build a better Akwaibom State. It's going to be an enormous task. But when I look at the resilience of each and every one of you party faithfuls here, I know together we will join hands to build. I stand on the mandate and I assure you that come February, with the resilience I see from each and every one of you, with a great platform, APC, we are going to take over the state. In the meantime, former senior special assistant to the president on Niger Delta Affairs, Senator Ita Enang, and other aggrieved aspirants in the contest have described the outcome of the APC governorship primaries as anything but desirable. In River State, Bilonia businessman architect Tony Cole secured the governorship ticket of the APC after pulling 986 votes out of a total vote cast of 1,282. On the ballot were six other aspirants, including Senator Magnus Abbey, a former secretary to the River State government who got only one vote. While the APC governorship primary election was ongoing at the Adokie Amiasimaka Stadium, Senator Abbey held a press conference at another location in Port Harcourt where he condemned the process as unjust. At the beginning of this whole thing when I declared, I said I will not accept the outcome of any process that is not just. The indirect primaries being conducted today by the former Minister of Transportation and his cronies in the All Progressive Congress in River States clearly does not meet that standard. And for that reason, while I have decided not to participate, not to withdraw out of respect for the party, I want to say clearly that I will not accept the outcome Neither will I be bound by it. In 2019, in fighting between rival camps controlled by Senator Magnus Abe and Rotimi Amechi had given rise to multiple litigations. In the end, the APC was not on the ballot in River State. Architect Tonye Cole enjoins Magnus Abe to shit his sword and let bygones be bygones. I want to state firmly that we have always said that as soon as anyone emerges through the primaries, that we would all come together as one family to support. 
I had made the promise that if I if I was not the one that emerged from these primaries, I would support everyone, including Senator Magnus Abbey. Today, I'm calling on Senator Magnus Abbey to lay down the sword and come and let us build this state to a greater state. With the exception of Delta State, where Deputy Senate President Ovie Omar Agege clinched the APC governorship ticket in what has been adjudged a rancor-free process, the just-concluded governorship primaries in Akwaibom and River States have been greeted with strong disapprovals by aggrieved governorship aspirants and their supporters. Clearly, the APC needs to put its house in order in readiness for the 2023 general elections in the Niger Delta, which is currently under the firm grip of the opposition People's Democratic Party. Inside the Niger Delta, 